<coughs> that was my uh, Final Fantasy thing, you know? So what's up guys, this is Crazy Small here bringing you another great edition of Crazy Vlogs, you know? This is the episodes where I answer questions, bring you news, updates, and just, you know, talk about the server and things I find interesting. And, you know, I talk about them from my point of view. And if I can, I'll try to get the community's point of view on it also. So um, without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into this thing. We all know about that stunt Frail tried to pull yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when um, David actually announced that he was quitting the server and he gave the server away to KO9. Congratulations, KO9. I hope you do well with the server. And uh, Frail was like, oh, no, 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 no. And he um, actually got moderator position over at a new server called Rune Rebels and then he tried to move the entire player base or not the entire but as much as he could from Project RSO6 all the way over to Rune Rebels and if I do remember correctly in one of those claims he said that every player will try to have their stats uh, restored over there so they wouldn't have to start completely over <clears throat> Well, we all know that and when he tried to do this, we all thought that, you know, Frail got hacked. Frail got hacked. This isn't Frail. This isn't the Frail we know. This is a completely different guy. Even I was fooled. I thought it was a completely new guy, but I got the chance to talk to Frail um, in a Skype conversation, and he actually typed everything out for me because he doesn't have a microphone. And I got down. I got down to some answers. I got some questions in, and I hope that this can clear some things up. But just to prove to you that... Uh, this is probably the real frail, which I believe it is. Let me uh, open a new tab for you guys really fast and go to my email. Dun, da, 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 dun, da, dun. I might actually use a Final Fantasy song since I keep coming to this. <clears throat> Come on, email. Why are you lag? All right. Donovan is Dave from class. I just want to let you know that I have to drop the course this quarter. Okay, that is completely off topic. But uh, let's check out this one right here. All right. So as you can see here in my email, it says uh, from I am bloody crazy one two three. Frill here again. Read the previous comment on Room Rebels and blah blah blah. And we had a conversation on my YouTube video, and I told him to add me as a friend on Skype, so we can get down to some Q and A. And I'm going to bring you that Q&A right now. And if you guys don't want to see the screen, I will uh, just <clears throat> I'll say it all to you. So let's scroll all the way up to the very beginning. This is Frail. He added me. Um, I'm not going to show you his actual login name so you guys don't add him. Like adding him by spamming him and etc. etc. So this is the guy that added me from the Skype. I mean from the YouTube. Um... You know, I say hello, and then I told him one moment because I was a little busy. And uh, this is all kind of not important because that's not where our Q&A begins. He goes on to say that he doesn't have a mic. And then this is where I begin my questions. Well, before I even begin that, he does state before I even begin questions, he goes, but I'm also not saying K09 is a bad guy. But anyways, let's continue. So I guess my first question is, once K09 got ownership to Project RSO6, why did you want to be a part of why didn't you want to be a project why didn't you want to be a part of this project anymore? Honestly, was it because that Rune Rebels offered you a better position? Or is it because you'd be getting paid at Rune Rebels? What exactly was it that one that made you want to leave? Um but also um try to move the entire server. I mean try to move the entire player base from point A to point B. What what made you want to do that? And he goes, it wasn't the position at all. Basically, K09 didn't have a development team yet, and Rai, aka Ryan, he did. <clears throat> K09 ran a RuneScape Classic server for two years, and Rai ran a RuneScape 2 server for six years. Ryan was obviously um, a better choice. K09 needs to hire developers, and what the problem with that is, the server becomes a two donation based server. I'd much rather play a server where developers are working to enjoy the best of the game at all time I mean the best game of all time <laughs> rather than knowing the developers would quit if we stop donating and in threads previously you do see that uh, KO9 did say that he would be hiring developers to help him with the server so I moved on to ask him so 
Why did you try to move all of us in such a negative way? There are so many other ways to attempt to do this, but I feel, and as do many others. Like you tried to trash Project RSO6, and by doing so, you it would convince us that Rune Revels was a far superior choice. And Frail moves on to say, It wasn't as negative as you think. To all these claims, I say that I spam forum posts and malicious content aren't true. The truth is, shortly after um, I made that announcement threat, I was blocked by the DDoS uh, filter. KO9 was also. I haven't gone back. The people spamming is me, known as Frail, la 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 la, and Freel, aren't me. As the trashing project RSO6, I didn't do that either. The players deserve Ring Rebels, and I'm blown away by Ra's progress. And also, once I realized Project RSO6 is actually RuneScape's 2006 game source, apparently the entire team knew this except for me. The players deserve more than just a leaked alpha from 2006 game. I didn't want them uh, wasting time, any more time, on a server. Um, that Sunlight Sap has spoken out against KO9's new ownership also. And here's the link. <clears throat> I will link this in the description so you guys can view it yourself, but it is... Actually, I'll just show you it now. <clears throat> Let's scroll down a bit. Is this the correct thread? <laughs> okay, well, I cannot find where it is. Oh, wait, here it is. Here you can see Scilab Soft. And you can see that this is the website. And uh, Scilab Soft, she goes and says, uh, <clears throat> I never directly bashed, I never bashed KO9 directly, other than to state that he should not be the new owner considering he knows nothing of RuneScape 2 protocol or how to stop any future exploits I write for the server. I just find it enjoyable to exploit the shitty server. And um, that's pretty much what Scilab Soft said. Let's go back to Skype. <clears throat> So here we are back in Skype. The party hat dupe was actually real yesterday. As we all know, there was a party hat dupe yesterday, and uh, KO9 told us that it was not real, and he was doing a scam for it, if it was real. But um, and from what I was told from a party from a private conversation in IRC with KO9, he couldn't figure out how to fix it, so he just disabled the dual arena, which I believe did actually happen, if I'm not mistaken. And I say, oh, I see. Here's a new question. And then he also moves on to say that the party hat dupe was done by Sellout Soft. Okay. Moving on, with KO9 having taken ownership and Rune Rebels having such a small player base, when I try to offer Ryan a chance to develop over here as a head developer, when I say here, I mean Project RS6, on the server to make it better, it will completely avoid the entire what the fuck barbecue sauce party. And then we would have two developers working together and no more conspiracy theories and such and such. And he goes, because the server isn't David's. I'd estimate Vault spent around $10,000 to $20,000 paying developers to make the server. And Ryan's source is far superior, as I was shown last night when I talked in VChat, which is probably video chat, with eight other uh, developers while he worked on quests and fixed bugs. And I'm sorry for any typos, I'm on the iPad. And I'm telling him it's fine. And then. I uh, went on to state that if he's on an iPad, he should have a microphone, so I could record it like a live voice action thing, but he's on an iPad 1, so he doesn't have a microphone. But anyways, my next question is, do you think that RuneScape Pro I mean, Project RSO6 has absolutely no chance to further succeed? And eventually, will it meet its demise, and do you think KO9 can actually pull off, um, can pull this off and make a good server? And he goes, well, KO9 knows what he's doing. I mean, he's, he isn't stupid. But I don't think that the best choice, but I don't think he was the best choice to run a RuneScape 2 server. He proved his capabilities with RuneScape Classic servers. But also, let me quote what I said earlier. And he moves on to quote the fact that he will have to hire developers, which will make the server a donation based server. And then I moved on to say that KO9 did state he will be hiring developers, and that he will try to avoid the pay to win aspect of the game. And he goes still. Whenever not enough people donate, the developers will quit. <clears throat> he goes on to say that Rune Rebels does not need donations. They appreciate, they appreciate them, but they're running off pure love of the game. I'm not trying to advertise Rune Rebels either. I'm sorry if it seems that way. 
And I go, last question, which might be kind of silly in the same light. I mean, which might be kind of silly, but serious in the same light. If KO9 offered you and all the mods and developers over at Rune Rebels to join the Team Project RSO6, a chance to uh, put all disagreements and negative feelings toward each other behind, would you agree to join the team once again? And he says, again, the fact that remains that Project RSO6 is still running off of a 2006 escape leaked alpha. There would be no other reason, there would be no reason for for us to do that. Um, it would be a downgrade. I see. Personally, I feel KO9 and the players are both ripped off. And then I moved on to ask him, so what's so bad about 2006 Gape's uh, leaked alpha? Other than the fact that it's leaked alpha, I don't know anything about private servers. And he says last I heard, Pompano actually left the server, um, actually left with around 2k pocketed or something like that. But don't hold me to it. And David made nothing. Well, servers are not illegal, which means Vault, if he feels like it, he can sue. He could take legal action or just the DMCA. Say, for example, Vault waits uh, for the server to have 5k active players. And then he decides to do it just because he's bored and he can. He can make around 70k dollars from 2006 game. Um, he has the money. And uh, everyone else will lose their progress. And I didn't want to see that happen. And I said, okay, I see, for the last statement, um, before I say this and make this video, I, I ask him if there's any last statements that he would like to make before I uh, release the video. And he moves on to say, if you're on the fence, give Room Rebels a try. Two minutes and you'll see that it's a sheer contrast of content versus Project RSO6. Rye was obviously the choice. Also, you may want to read this thread, which is the thread I'll link. Um... That rise taken out of the situation. That's rise take on the entire situation. <clears throat> oh, you should add that personally. If I could do this over again, I would have done it in a much more formal way. But I figured pulling a stunt would be uh, would get me the most publicity. So that is true. He did pull a stunt, and it did get him and that server a lot of publicity. Everyone knows about the server, but I think that. Since he did pull a stunt, it kind of backfired on him in a sense, and it didn't really work out in the way he wanted it to work out. My take on the entire situation, I think that what he did was actually not the smartest way to do it. And like you said, if he had a chance to do it again, he would do it in a much more formal way, which is a smarter thing to do. And I think that's the way he probably should have done it in the first place. Um, but after hearing all this information on... KO9 being a RuneScape 2 classic server, and everything does, everything he's saying does seem true, because I I read the forums religiously on this freaking game, and he does have RuneScape 2 classic um, experience, but he I don't know if he has RuneScape 2 uh, experience. Um, I don't know, the whole thing is really up to you guys, I just brought you the news, I brought you what he said, I brought you, you already know what's going on over here at the Project R's the 6th place. Um, it's all up to you guys, really. So what are you going to do? Me, personally, will I leave this server? Will I leave Project RSO6? And will I join to, uh, will I go join Rune Rebels? <clears throat> I'll tell you what I said to Fro. The only thing that's going to make me leave this server is if the, the two or three friends that I have over here, if they want to leave, they're the only thing that's really keeping me here. So if my friends, uh, Marcus and Nathan, if they leave and they say Rune Rebels is better, then I'm not going to play this server alone. I'm not going to stay here and play. I'm just going to go play Rune Rebels. I'm, I play with my friends. I don't play for the, for um, all of the amazing content, so to say. So anyways, this video is long. I know, I'm sorry. And it was just pretty much a wall of text. But hopefully that cleared up a few things. And maybe if you guys pose a whole bunch of more questions that are actually relevant, then maybe I can get another Q&A with Frail here, and yeah. So it's completely up to you guys to um, decide for this entire situation. And thanks for watching my episode 3 of Crazy Vlogs, and I hope to see you. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a video Saturday and Sunday. But I hope to see you on Monday. And one other thing, this video will not be full screen. Oh, ho, 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 ho.